Welcome back to another episode of Smart Fox TV. In about two weeks, we'll have Thanksgiving followed by Black Friday. Although Thanksgiving is a highlight for some people as a day to gather and be with loved ones, some families spend their Thanksgiving getting ready or camping out for Black Friday due to the amazing deals that come with it. So, when did Black Friday begin and why is it called what it's called? Let's take a look at its surprisingly dark history. The term Black Friday was first used back in 1869 when the stock market crashed after two Wall Street financiers bought up lots of gold to drive up prices. Their scheme ended up bankrupting the richest and the poorest on September 24, 1869. In the 1950s, police in Philadelphia used the term to describe post-Thanksgiving chaos when shoppers and tourists would flood the city ahead of time to watch the annual Saturday Army-Navy football game. That Friday, Police could not take the day off and would have to deal with many shoplifters who used the chaos to steal a bunch of items. By 1961, the Black Friday term caught on in Philadelphia and became popularized with the rest of the nation by the 1980s. Although the term Black Friday originally had a bad connotation, retailers were able to make it more positive by spinning the story about going from red to black. This red to black idea is that stores are always in the red or losing money throughout the year and they finally go into black or getting some money back when they sell lots of discounted goods on Black Friday. Now, the Black Friday as we know it has nothing to do with people losing their livelihoods overnight or crowds stealing big merchandise. Rather, it's a day to get good steals as in crazy good deals and for others, a giant retail headache to avoid altogether. What does Black Friday mean to you? Does it mean a time of getting lots of goodies or is it more like you'd rather stay home and be with your family and friends for Thanksgiving after dinner? Let us know in the comments below. Hello, this is Shane with the latest news. Last week, the Houston Astros won the World Series against the Philadelphia Phillies in six games. The World Series MVP is rookie shortstop Jeremy Pena. It's their second title in franchise history. Well, first if you don't count the one in 2017. I'm sorry, that's my last joke about the Astros. The Astros can finally put the cheating scandals behind them and become champions once again. Congrats to the Astros, see you next season. In other news, a new Indiana Jones TV series is being explored for Disney+. According to Variety, Disney and Lucasfilms are looking at the possibility of having a show in the Indiana Jones universe. It is unlikely that Harrison Ford will be in the show, considering that Indiana Jones 5, coming out in 2023, could be his last film in the series. We will just have to wait and see what happens. That is all for me today. Have a great day. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.